Hello. Hi, everyone. Janet Harley, your host for Faith in an Ever-Changing World, Encouragement and Hope Faith Story. And it is my pleasure today to have with me Stephen and Carrie Neander. Mm -hmm. And they are originally from Australia. But guess where they are <laughs> now? They are on a sailboat in Croatia. And their uh, journey begins with them sailing full time in the Mediterranean on their sailboat, Thankfulness. In February of this year, their dream, purpose, and vision is to sail around the world to inspire, encourage, and bring hope, sharing the love of God with those they meet. And right after this, Hi, Karen, <laughs> Carrie, and Stephen. Thank you for joining me. And right after this short intro, we're going to be listening to your faith story. Wonderful. All right, we're back. And now, if you will, please share your faith story. Well, thank you, Janet. Uh, it's really great to be here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an honor. And um, yeah, right now we're sitting on our sailboat in the Mediterranean, living the dream life. <laughs> in winter. <laughs> but it's, oh, in the winter. In winter. It's very cold, very wow. cold. It's still the dream life. <laughs> it's, um, it's been a bit of a journey to get here. And um as you said, our purpose is to sail around the world, um, inspiring, encouraging, and bringing hope to the people we meet. And uh, the funny thing is, though, that we started this journey at the beginning of this year, but previously we didn't have a boat. We didn't know how to sail. And, oh. uh, <laughs> and you know, the world was in crazy lockdowns and, yeah. and uh, we actually weren't allowed to leave the country of Australia. So just a perfect way to start, really. <laughs> yeah, That's so, right. Yeah. So my story, very briefly, um, I have five children. Uh, I was married for 27 years. And then um, one day my world was turned upside down. My wife left me and um, we'd homeschooled our kids. So they had a really close relationship with their mother. And so they basically left as well. And uh, so I went from being a very happy um, father, husband, and sure there were problems, but I was content, and uh, to being absolutely shattered. Oh. And I remember when that news was delivered to me, I just, my world was over. I just didn't want to mm -hmm. be there anymore. Mm -hmm. And, um, but you know, I like to focus on the things I can do rather than the things I can't do. And mm -hmm. at that time, which was about four years ago, I couldn't change that situation. Um, but what I could do was some simple things. And I'm a Christian and have been all my life. And, mm -hmm. and one of the simple things that I could do was that I could go to church. Mm -hmm. And I, I couldn't participate. I wasn't in a state of mind where I could really do anything. But I could at least turn up. And so I just determined that no matter how I was feeling, I would just turn up on a Sunday morning and do that. And I did that week after week after week after week. And sometimes it was really, really painful to do that. But um, during that time, one of the things that really impacted me was one particular man. He, he knew what I was going through and he stood by me. And every time I would turn up to church, he would come up to me, put his arms around me and tell me that I was a good man. Yeah. So yeah. when I was in my absolute lowest pit of depression and just hopelessness, there was somebody there mm -hmm. that had enough presence of mind and enough heart to reach out and mm -hmm. they didn't know what to do. They didn't know what to say, but they could just stand beside me. And mm -hmm. that was so, so powerful. Mm -hmm. And really what we're doing today as we're going around the world is just doing that same thing. We're just, we're not doing anything particularly amazing. Well, 
actually we are but, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, um, but really you know we're not preaching to thousands of people or leading massive churches or anything like that it's just the people that god puts in our way on a daily basis yeah. how can we be a support to them how can we be a friend to them how can we encourage them mm-hmm. where mm-hmm. they're at um so that's very briefly my and uh, we both actually have quite a similar background we've been together now for four years uh i had (laughs) (laughs) wonderful (laughs) um uh, i had also been married previously i was married for 30 years to my husband uh we had been missionaries together we had been pastors together Um, And I was a school principal and I was in education. I'd been in education for 30 years. And he also decided that after 30 years, he didn't want to be married to me any longer. And, you know, just like Stephen was completely devastated because when I married and when most people marry, they marry for life, you know, don't take it lightly. And, you know, after 30 years of it, I thought, okay, we're just having a rough patch, but no, it was more than a rough patch. Wow. And, um, so that was a, a complete shock to me. Uh, at the time also I was in a workplace and there was some workplace issues that were going on and I ended up needing to leave my workplace with post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, that led to depression and anxiety and mm. I really wasn't able to function. Wow. And just like Stephen had a man at church who came alongside him, I'm so thankful that God brought us together because when you're in the middle of despair and struggling, it's so good to have someone who stands by you. And Stephen Mm. was that person for me. He came and he stood by me. Not only did he stand by me, but he became my advocate. Mm. And so... I couldn't speak for myself when I couldn't express what I needed. Yeah. Um, I, I ended up in hospital for seven months and um, had oh, electric treatment. And you know, if you'd asked me, you know, even six years ago, I, I was a fully functioning leader in the education community, and mm-hmm. I ended up in hospital just with no hope. And um, my story is also a story of God restoring and God healing. And so we've done it together. We've really been on this yes. journey together. And yes. what excites me is that God loves everyone just as much as he loves us. And he hasn't just healed and restored us. He wants to do that for everybody. He wants us to be living our That's best amazing. life. Um mm-hmm. So that's what brought us together, really. Pain brought us together. Um, And a really key thing along the way, um, not long after we were married a few years ago, we did a marriage course through our church. And on the last night, they asked us to draw a picture of a vision of our marriage, what it was going to look like. And so in about five minutes, I drew a set of eyes looking out which represented going into all the world. I was not, sorry, mm. seeking first the kingdom of God. Mm. And then I, drew, then I drew a boat, which was represented going into all the world. And then I drew, drew an island with some happy faces on it. <laughs> and that represented <laughs> Jesus going around doing good. All right. Yeah. And that yeah. was just like, that was just what came down. And, yeah. um, and so now we are seeking God every single day. Yeah. You know, we don't have jobs. We don't um, do any of those, any of the normal things. It's just every single day it's believing God for what he has for us. And so we are seeking first God's kingdom every day. Yeah. Yeah. We're sailing around the world. We're going around the world. And as it happens, we're in an island, on an island today. And um, I must have seen at least two or three happy people today. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, It's just amazing the power yeah. of... Oh, connection. Uh, connection and having a clear vision for what it is that as a married couple we, we want to do together yeah. and then most importantly being prepared to take a step so when we set out i said some of the things that we didn't have we didn't know how to sail we didn't have a boat <laughs> yes. we hadn't even sailed we didn't even know if we like sailing i didn't know if we 
on the sailboat, you know, because lots of people get seasick. We didn't know any of that. <laughs> so how right. did you decide that you were going to be sailing? How, how did you? Oh, it seemed like a good idea. We um, how on earth did we decide? We <laughs> we woke up one day and said, "Let's go sailing." No, it, it actually it actually started. We we thought that it might be good to live near the water. Yeah, and um, so we were looking at houses, you know, and then we thought, well, if we had a house in the water, you can basically just look out the window and you've got a view. But what about if we had a boat on the water? So we started looking at houseboats. And then we thought, well, you can't really do much with a houseboat. It's just going to sit in a lake. So <laughs> then we started looking at catamarans. And then we started looking at monohulls and sailing boats. So it was just the blind leading the blind. <laughs> <laughs> One thing after another, um, really just in search of adventure. But all the while thinking, how... What can we step into that's going to enable us to serve yeah. and to make a difference? And and so what's unfolded by us taking steps, uh, I would say flying leaps, <laughs> into the unknown, what's happened is that through the grace of God, yeah. a platform has developed yeah. to where yeah. we people. So yeah. through our, our YouTube and other video channels, through Facebook, we're able to connect with people all mm -hmm. over the world. Mm. The sailing is really just a bit of a draw card. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. It's uh, it's not the kind of thing that you would do for fun necessarily. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, sailing around the world, cruising the Mediterranean might sound exciting and it certainly has its exciting moments, but mostly <laughs> it's either boredom or terror. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, I'm sure you travel through some rough waters sometimes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So um, it's ju just, in fact, my pastor quite a few years ago actually prophesied over me and um, said that uh, that he could see a platform developing and I had no idea what that mm. would be, but this is what it is. So yeah. it's just um, very encouraging for us that as we take a step yeah. of faith and not really knowing what's on the other end of that step, yeah. That when we look back, we can see how God has, yeah, God's mm -hmm. hand through it every every step of the way, mm -hmm. uh, and um, absolutely in your yeah. personal lives and in your life together. That's yes. right. Yeah. And what's really interesting is that, like, our story is a pretty common story, really. You know, of divorce love, and, divorce, yeah. despair, um, come back. Um, yeah. But that story just resonates with people all over the world and mm -hmm. it's so interesting so many people contact us and say we can see that you have hope we can see that you have a new life we can see that you're healing and restoring I need that yes. and we're able to share from mm -hmm. that pain God's good goodness in his grace on us mm -hmm. and his healing power and I, I think our story isn't really that extraordinary but it does resonate with so many people and there's a lot of people, particularly at this time in the world with um, all the stuff that's going on yes. nationwide, there's yes. some people that just need hope. Oh, and, absolutely. Absolutely. And, yeah. mm. When we talk with people, uh, sometimes we have people on our boat yeah. and um, just the conversations and when you see that the lights go back on, yeah. you know, just that little spark is there and reignited. And you just think, man, you know, um, God really is uh, over everything. It's just that, wonderful. Yes, you, know? you can, yeah, you can just feel and see God's hand in it. Yes, mm. yes. One and of the things Stephen has always said, he said, you know, if God can use our stories to just help one person, mm -hmm. it's all been worth it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you yeah. know, we, we're not setting out to change the whole world, but we just right. want to sit down and chat with one person <laughs> and share the hope of Jesus with mm. them, really. Right. And that's what's happening. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, well, I want to thank you for sharing your beautiful story and your your wonderful platform that you have sailing around the world uh and and to glorify god and mm. 
I think that is wonderful. And uh, uh, we will be praying that God will keep you safe and protected yes. from those rough waters and that uh, you will reach many, many people, giving them hope and uh, uh, encouragement. Mm-hmm. Now, one last thing I'd like to ask you. I try to ask my guests this question. What's one way that we can all do? What is something we can all do that so we can hold on to our faith in this ever-changing world? I found I struggled with depression for many, many years. And I found that one of the things that helped me the most was when I reached out to somebody else to help them. Mm. And that, that was yes. the biggest thing. So uh, I think that one of the most important things in this time particularly is community. Yeah. And so if a person wants to build, hold on to, grow their own faith, find somebody else to help grow their faith yeah. through encouragement, standing alongside them like my friend back in my dark days. Mm-hmm. Um, put your arm around somebody else and say, yep, yeah, do it, you know. Yeah. And as as you give out, it will be brought back to you. Yeah. So. Right. Right. Exactly. Uh, that is uh, that is something that we should all do. We are here for each other. Yes. So to reach out and to help someone else. Thank mm-hmm. you very much, Carrie and Stephen Neander. Thank you for joining me today. And thank you to Creative Motion Network and my family there. Uh, Thank you all as well. Have faith and look up, friends, where our help comes from. Amen. Thank you.